near us, help us and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints. For now, we just on our behalf at all, all times, and to keep the life and standing of our honored Father, the art praise from Papa Tawadros and his partner in the liturgy, our Father, the Bishop, and the Yosef, and forgive us of.
אין אלוהים עוד, אין תאווה או אסטוי, אין אסטוי נופי. אכון את אקמת נשתי, אתכן נפי אורי, אכול היתן את שמשי, אין תנק אונגלוס, נמנק אורשי. אנגלוס אס אוהר אס יו האב ריסיב דה גיפס אוף דה רייצ'ס אבל דה סקריפייס אוף אוהר פאדר אברהם אנד דה טו מיינדס אוף דה ודו סו אולסו ריסיב דה טנק אופרינגס אוף יור סרוונס דוס אין אבונדנס אור דוס אין סקרסיטי Hidden or manifest Those who desire to offer to you but have none And those who have offered this gift to you this very day Give them the incorruptible instead of the corruptible The heavenly instead of the earthly The eternal instead of the temporal Their houses and their stores, fill them with every good thing. Surround them, O Lord, with the power of your holy angels and archangels. As they have remembered your holy name on earth, remember them also, O Lord, in your kingdom. And in this age too, leave them not behind. Yeah. 
Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. O Mark, the Apostle, and the Evangelist, the witness of the passion of the only begotten God, you have come and enlightened us through your gospel and taught us the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You brought us out of darkness into the true light. Tribes of the earth were blessed through you, and your words have reached the end of the world. Hail to you, O martyr, hail to the evangelist, hail to the apostle, Saint Mark, the beholder of God. Praise the Lord on our behalf, O beholder of God, the evangelist, Saint Mark, the apostle, that he may forgive us our sins. Received the grace of Moses, the priest of the Most He received honor from our Father, Paul, dear Peter, the first of the apostles. Christ lifted his right hand on your head. He gave you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. That you may govern over the church and that you may shepherd your people. As for the apostle has said, likewise as Aaron Christ is also. Likewise we magnify you with David, the psalmist, you are the priest forever, according to the order of Machisade. Pray to the Lord on our behalf, O my Father, the patriarch, our holy Father, of us who address that he may forgive us our sins. To the Lord on our behalf, our holy, righteous Father, of a Yusuf, the bishop, that he may forgive us our sins. You watch over us from on high, where you go. O Lady of us all, the ever virgin Theotokos, ask of him who you have borne our good Savior to take away our trouble and grant us his peace. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen, hail to the bride of our race who bore to us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. Mother of the true light, we glorify you, Saint the Theodokos. You have brought forth unto us the Savior of the whole world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to our Master and King, Christ, the fire of the apostles, the crown of the martyrs, the joy of the righteous, the firmness of churches, the forgiveness of sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity of one Godhead. We worship Him. We glorify Him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. We believe in one God. God the Father, the Prince of God's Word, Creator of heaven and earth, and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, the God of the Father, before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, the God not created, for us with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men, for our salvation, came down from heaven, was incarnate with the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and became man, and he was crucified for us, and for us, the Father, he suffered from his burial on his third day, he rose from the dead, and he ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again, his glory to judge the living and the dead, his kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and one way, casting up also like church, and we confess from that to the permission of sins. <laughs>
Grant to you, bless thy eyes for the seeing ears for the hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints. Pray for the holy Those that rejoice, 
A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke the Evangelist. May his holy blessing be with us today. Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with Hes to the city of Judah and entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the babe had lived in her wounds, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed are the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the babe lived in my womb for joy. Blessed is he and she who believed for there will be a fulfillment of those things which we told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowly state of his maid servant. For behold, henceforth the generation all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and the holy holy is his name, and his mercy is on the on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalt, exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servants as well, in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke of our fathers to Abraham and to his seeds forever. And Mary, Mary remained with on her about three months and returned to her house. Glory to God forever. Amen. Teacher 
there the prophet made his holy message through this on them. The angel of the Lord accounts all around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see the Lord that, that is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. A reading from the Gospel according to our teacher, St. Luke the Evangelist. May his blessed be with us. Amen. Now, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, O full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of grief this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his uh, father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also, that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has conceived a son in her old age. This is now the sixth month for her who was called barren, for with God nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord, let it be let it be to me according to your word, and the angel departed from her. Glory to be God for around me. Thank you. 
Sharing sustainer on your evangelion. If me is the unbelief and only then it of on him non air permit if in the top then 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 خلي انتي ونمنا نطوف اتن ايري اما او ايبسوي هارو بنيطف ارشر بلنكود ما انتنو او ني اتسوني ما تاوتسو او سين ثغار بيبن اون خيتيرو نم بن او قيتيرو نم تنهل بستيرو نم بن تاوتسو تيرو نم تن اناستاسي استيري There is no speech, no language where their voice is not heard. The line has gone out to all the earth and the words to the end of the world. A reading from the gospel according to our teacher, St. Matthew, the evangelist, may his blessings be upon us. Amen. And when he had, had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. Now the names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the, his brother, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Levius, whose surname was Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanite, Harriet, who also betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out as to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out the demons freely, and have received freely. Give, give uh, glory be to the God forever. Amen.
but it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. Therefore, settle it in your hearts not to meditate beforehand on what you will answer. For I will give you a mouse and wisdom which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and you will put some of you to this, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But not a hair of your head shall be lost. By your patience, possess your souls. Glory be to God forever. <laughs> Evangelium, 
Then one said to him, Lord, are there few who are saved? And he said to them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. And he will answer and say to you, I do not know you where you are from, then you would begin to say, we ate and drank in your presence, and we taught in our streets. But you would say, I tell you, I do not know you. Where, you are, where are you from? Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and the prophets in the kingdom of God and yourselves thrust out. They will come from the east and the west, from the north and the south, and sit down in the kingdom of God. And indeed, there are last who will be first, and there will be the, and there are first who will be last. Glory be to God forever. <laughs> Saint Matthew, the evangelist, may his Lord bless and be with us all. Amen. 
then Jesus came from Galilee to John and told him to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and you are come, coming to me. But Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to, to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in, him I, in whom I am well pleased. Glory be to God forever. Amen. John has born Jehan mi 
ليش ام بروفيتيس ام هانثني اف اير ابثي من النف ان يتت النف اير او
And Omar Apostle sent the third hour to not take away from us the one, but renew him with an us, creating me a clean heart to God, and renew a right spirit within me, do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. O Lord, to send down your Holy Spirit upon your holy disciples, and your honored apostles in the third hour, do not take him away from us, good one, but we ask you to renew him within us, O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Word, a right Allah, giving spirit, a spirit of prophecy and chastity, a spirit of fullness, righteousness, and authority, O the Almighty One, for you are the light of our souls, O you who give light to every man that comes in the world, have mercy on us. O if you do, because you are the true one who brought a cluster of life, we ask you for grace with the apostles for the salvation of our souls. Blessed the Lord our God, blessed the Lord day by day, He prepares our way for His God of our salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who is born of the Virgin, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who is crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who rose from the dead and sent into the heavens, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, visit the sake of your people. Heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our fathers and brethren are fallen asleep. O Lord, we close their souls. O you who are without sin, Lord, have mercy on us. O you who are without sin, Lord, help us receive our supplications. Yours is the glory, the dominion, and triple holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us in O Lord, make us worthy to pray. Thank you, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, we us on the temptation of the us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine the kingdom, power, and glory forever. Amen. Hail to you, as to a sin for the glory. Give her virgin the beautiful of Christ, the mother of Christ. Lift up our prayers unto the Lord, Son, that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to you, holy virgin, who has brought forth unto us the true light, Christ our God. Ask the Lord on our behalf that he may have mercy on our souls and forgive us our sins. O Virgin Mary, the holy beautiful of Christ, the faithful advocate for all mankind, intercede on our behalf before Christ whom you bore, that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen, and unto the pride of our race, who bore to us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. Zuxa, Sio, Sio, Simon, Holy, 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 the Holy Gospel, according to Saint Matthew, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. Then the multitude who went upon a mountain, and when he was seated, his son came to him. He opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure heart, for they shall be seen God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile you and persecute you. Say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecute the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket. But on a lamp set, and they give light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Glorify your Father who is in heaven. Glory be to God forever. Amen. May the saying of God be fulfilled in peace. The most of the Christos and the Christian of the Christos and the Christian of the world, she of Ashkot, so the Imam Naiman, O you who on the sixth day and in the sixth hour, was nailed to the cross for the sin which our father Adam did commit in paradise. There he and the writing of our sins of Christ our God and save us. 
I cry to God and the Lord heard me. God hear my prayer and do not refuse my petition. Be attentive to me and hear me in the evening and the morning and at midday. I say my words and hears my voice and delivers my soul in peace. O Jesus Christ, our God, who was nailed to the cross at the sixth hour and killed the sin by the tree, and by your death you make alive the dead man, whom you created with your own hands and not died in sin. Put to death our pains by your healing all our living passions, and by the nails which your nail is garments from thought the sins of the earth, cities, and worldly loss. To the remembrance of every commandments according to your compassion. Since we have no favor nor excuse nor justification because of our many sins, we throw you implore to him who was born of you, of you to the virgin, for abundant and acceptable is your intercession with our Savior. O Holy Mother, do not execute sinners from your intercession with him whom you bore, for he is merciful and able to save us because he suffered for us, to deliver us with your compassion speed may reach us. For you are exceeding humble, it was to God our Savior for the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for the sake of your holy name. <laughs> of all the earth of, of Christ our God as you stretch your holy hands on the cross therefore all nations cry saying glory be to you O Lord we worship you in corruptible person O Lord when asking for the forgiveness of our sins O Christ our God for of your will you will please to be lifted up unto the cross to deliver those whom you have created from the bondage of the enemy we cry out unto you and give thanks to you for you have filled all with joy O Savior we came to help the world O glory be to you you are she who is full of grace, O Pio, to oppose the virgin who praise you for the cross of your son, he fell down and death was of us. We were dead, but we are raised up with him, worthy of eternal life, and gained the delights of the first paradise. Therefore, we thank you and glorify you, immortal Christ our God. We glorify you, O Saint of Europe, for us, we have brought forth unto us the Savior of the whole world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to our Master and King, Christ, the Pious, the Apostles, the Count, the Martyrs, the Lord, the Righteous, the Firmness of Churches, and Forgiveness of Sins. We proclaim the Holy Trinity of one Godhead. We worship Him, we glorify Him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord bless us, Amen. We believe in one God, now the Father, the Prince of God's Word, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, the light of life, true God of true God, begotten, not created of one essence with the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and power of salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffering and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead according to the scriptures. The Son of 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 the to heal us and mercy on us and forgive us our sins. Amen.
and earth are full of your glory and honor. Have mercy on us, O God, the Father, the Consecrator. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord God, and those be with us. For we have no help in our hardships and tribulations but you. Absolve, forgive, and remit, O God, our transgressions, those which we have committed willingly, and those which we have committed unwillingly, those which we have committed knowingly, and those which we have committed unknowingly. The hand and the manifest, O Lord, forgive us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. May it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. O Lord, make souls to pray thanks to the Lord, Father, for the in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Glory to the all holy Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, peace and edification to the one only holy, Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought to you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly. Alleluia, this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, save us, O Lord, straighten Of Ehren, 
Eu mai am mai mult de vis cu piesa cu lucruri, și cu mine, cu toată sa cu respect, nu am forever, am zis și de ce
wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification, sanctification and redemption. That, as it is written, he who glorifies, let him glory in the Lord. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. Fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles, no one that speak against you, the people who are then may be by your works, which they observe the Lord by God in the day of visitation. Therefore, submit yourselves to every ordinance of men for the Lord's sake, and whether to the King and Supreme or to Governor, to, to those who are sent by him, for the punishment of evil doers and for the praise of those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good you may put the signs to ignorance of foolish men, as free yet not using your liberty as a cloak for vice, but as servants of God. Honor all people, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king, servants to be submissive to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the harsh. For this is commendable, commendable if because of conscience, for God, one of your grief, suffering, suffering wrongfully. For what credit is it if one you are beaten for your faults, you take it patiently? But when you do get a suffer for it, if you take it patiently, it is commendable before God. But to this you will call because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow the steps. Who committed no sin nor was God, but God will find in his mouth? But when you revile, did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but committed himself to him who judges righteously, who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we have had the sins of might live for righteousness. By whose stripes you were healed, for you were like sheep going astray, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Do not let the world know things which are on the world. The world shall pass away and all is desired, but he that the will of God shall come to
he commanded to us preach to the people and to testify that it is he who was ordained by God to be judge of the living and the dead. To him whom all the prophets witness that through his name whoever believes in him will re receive remission of his sins. To the word of the Lord shall go on the fighting mighty and be confirmed in the holy church of God now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, O God, Amen. Today is the 17th day of the blessed month of Tut. May God end it in goodness, may He renew it for us for many years and peaceful times. While our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our merciful Lord, Amen. Amen. On this day of the year 51 of the martyrs, the 335 AD, the patriarchs of the Christian churches celebrated the Honorable Cross. They were the saintly Pope Athanasius, the Apostolic Patriarch of Alexandria, the Patriarch of Constantinople, the Patriarch of Antioch, St. Macarius, Patriarch of Jerusalem. They carried the Honorable Cross in procession inside the Church of Resurrection in the splendid celebration worshiping the Lord. They offered prayers and celebrated the Divine Liturgy. They venerated the cross and then placed it in a special place, departed for in, prepared it, prepared for it in a vault made of silver. This piece coincides also with the appearance of the son of the honorable cross to the righteous emperor Constantine the Great. He was on his way to fight the tyrant emperor Maxentius, the son of Maximian in the year 312 AD. He saw the sign of the honorable cross in the middle of the day in the sky along with his officers and soldiers as a great light more brilliant than the light of the sun. Under the cross was written these words, with this sign you shall conquer. He was encouraged, strengthened, and he put the image of the cross that he saw on all the banners and armors of his soldiers. He was victorious in the year with the power of the honorable cross that had a profound effect for him accepting the faith, the blessing of the Honorable Cross be with us all. Amen. On this day also, the Saint Abba Castor, the Presbyter, was martyred during the reign of Emperor Diocletian in the 4th century. The Saint was born in the village of Bardanuha in Upper Egypt to Christian parents. They raised him in piety and in virtues, and he was ordained a reader. He stayed close to the church, then he was married and ordained a presbyter for the church of his village. He shepherded the people with the best of care. He had a son called Abraham, after his father's name, and a daughter called Bermuda. Father Castor grew to, a, to be a venerable priest in a good old age, and his people loved him. When Diocletian incited the persecution against the Christians, he went around confirming his people the Orthodox faith. He went to the city of El Kais, the capital of the area, and which was close to his village, to visit the imprisoned Christians because of their faith in Christ. He strengthened and encouraged them. When the governor was informed that Father Castor encouraged the Christians to be steadfast in their faith and not to worship the idols, he seized them. They tortured him with very, every kind of torture, but the Lord comforted and strengthened and healed him. Afterwards, the governor sent him to the governor of Old Cairo, who, whose name was Pythianos, to torture him again. Many miracles and wonders had, had been manifested during his torture and imprisonment. Then he sent him to the governor of Alexandria. The governor of Alexandria also tortured him, in spite of his old age, severely. Then he gave him a deadly poison to drink. However, it did not harm him, because the saint placed the sign of the cross over the chalice before he drank it. When he became weary of torturing him, he ordered to behead him. He was about 110 years old. While he was praying before his execution, a voice from heaven called upon him, saying, O oh, my beloved pastor, come to the place of rest. Then they cut off his head, and thus he received the crown of martyrdom. St. Julius of Arcasi wrote his biography, shrouded his body, and sent him to his hometown, Bardanuha, the people of his village received him with praises and hymns. They carried his body and hid it in his house until the end of the persecution. Then they built a church on his name, which was consecrated on the 17th day of the month of Amshir, the blessing of his prayers be with us all, amen. On this day also, the blessed Theognosta departed. 
that was during the reign of the righteous emperor Hon Honorius and Arcadius. She lived in a convent nearby Rome, and she was taken captive by the men of the ruler of El Raha. They presented him with her. The wife of the ruler took her as a maid servant for herself. The captured nun Theognosta performed her duty with joy and satisfaction, and the Lord prospered her ways. The Lord gave her grace in the sight of her mistress, so she appointed her head of all the maid servants working in the palace. As was Saint Theognosta, her heart was devoted to the heavenly life, pursuing her prayers and asceticism with great diligence. Afterwards, the son of the ruler faced a serious illness, and all the capabilities of the physicians failed to cure him. His mother asked Theognosta to pray for him. She stretched her hands and prayed to God to be glorified in, his, in this only son for the salvation of many. When she finished from her prayer, the child was immediately cured. The ruler freed her from captivity and gave her an isolated place as she requested. She dwelt in this place, worshiping God unceasingly. Not long after, the wife of the ruler became ill, so she asked Theognosta to pray for her, and God granted her healing with the prayers of the saints. One day, the ruler went out to the wilderness to hunt, and he was lost. Hence, he remembered Saint Theognosta and how she called upon the Lord Christ in her hardship, and how she signed herself with the son of the cross, and, he, and she received divine power. The ruler cried out, asking the Lord Christ, the God of Theognosta, to save him. Immediately, he saw a light in the shape of the sign of the cross, leading him until he entered the city. His people rejoiced and called St. Theognosta to preach to them the faith of the Lord Christ. She was delighted and preached them the faith. She asked the ruler to send to Emperor Honorius to, to delegate for them a righteous priest. He sent to them a priest called Theophanius, who preached them to them the faith of the Lord Christ until all believed. Theophanius was ordained the bishop for El Rafa as the ruler, and the people requested Saint Theognosta serve the women and taught them the faith. God allowed her, God allowed for her a short illness, and she departed in peace. The blessed of her prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day, also of the year 1557 of the martyrs or 1810 AD, the saint in Mayan Gergis is going and departed. In Mayan Gergis, his glory was one of the famous cults of the 18th century and early 19th century. He was the brother of Imadim Ibrahim al Bukhari. He was reared and educated as was his brother in a quartet of the city of Kalyu, and as was the system of that time. He learned reading, writing, and arithmetic along with religious studies and taught his language. When he grew up, he joined his brother who held the position of head of, of the scribes of Egypt in his daily duties and in office works. His brother was the best teacher and, and an excellent mentor for him. And being close to his brother had a great influence on his future life and a motive for his success. He held the position of head of Al Mubashirin after the departure of his brother in Malim Ibrahim al Gohari. Al Malim Girgis conducted the affairs of his position under four different periods during the reign of Al Mamali the rule of the French expedition, the reign of the Turks, and the beginning of the reign of Muhammad Ali Dash. He faced many difficulties during his public life. He was an outstanding man and generous in giving. He donated much money to the poor, needy, the churches, and the monasteries, especially on feast days. He supported Pope Marcus VIII in building the great St. Mark Church in the Azbatea and the patriarchal residence adjacent to it from their own possessions. His brother Ibrahim had obtained before his departure the decree from the Sultan to build the church. Pope Mark VIII appointed him administrator for many of the churches in Cairo and Old Cairo for his love for the churches and its renovation and maintenance. The Malim Gilgis later in his life fell ill and departed in peace. He was buried beside his brother in their private tomb beside the church of St. George in Dar el Taqa in Old Cairo. Their tomb still exists till now under a small church where prayers are offered on their on their days of commemoration. The blessing of, prayer, of their prayers of the saints the Archon, Archons be with us all and glory be to our God forever and ever. Amen.
Oh, no. 
the Jews, when waiting for a king, earthly king, who restored to them the kingdom of David. Then, when they saw Jesus dying on the cross, they were offended. As you heard in the Korean letter of today, for the Jews request a sign, and Greeks seek for after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified to the Jews a stumbling block. Those who waited for a sign, and Jesus will restore the kingdom of David and turn over the Roman Empire, when they saw him crucified, all their hope in him was gone. That's why the crucified Jesus is a stumbling block to the Jews. And to the Greek, they were seeking after wisdom. Greek is the city of philosophy. From where Aristotle and Plato and many other great philosophers came. So they could not comprehend and believe that God became man. And then he died on the cross and he was buried. For them that is foolishness. That's why the Greek, when they saw the cross, it was foolishness for them. But to those who are called, to the believers, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. We see in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, He is the sign. They asked for a sign. He is the sign that He came from heaven in order to save us. That's why He died on the cross. We see this power. He bound Satan, destroyed the doors and the gates of Hades, took all the captives in Hades, and transferred them to paradise of joy. He is the power of God. And he is the wisdom of God. Satan could not expect at all that God became man, becomes man, and dies on the cross. So, God in this mysterious way, he was able to capture Satan and to defeat him on the cross. So, until now, people are doubting whether Jesus is God or not. Until now. So, the church actually chose this part because the Jews ask it, why do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Tell us plainly. So the question here, whether the Jews back then, or the people today who are denying the divinity of Christ, do they have the right to accuse God to accuse the Lord Jesus Christ that he is keeping them in doubt. They told him, why do you keep us in doubt? Actually, in the gospel of today, God proved to them that he did not keep them in doubt. Immediately he answered them and told them, I told you and you do not believe. So he did not keep in doubt. In doubt. He told them, but they did not believe. And what is the evidence that he told them? That they took a stone to bless, to, 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 to stone him. So the Lord asked him a question. For which many good works I have shown you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him saying, for a good work, we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, because you, being a man, make yourself God. So that's very clear. And when the Lord told them plainly that he is a Messiah, 
and Messiah is God who became man, they told him, you are blaspheming. And they took stone to stone him. Actually, God told to them several times. The Lord himself said to them that I and the Father are one. When the blind man in chapter 9, verse chapter 10, asked him, uh, who are you? He told him, I am the Son of God. And the Son of a uh, blind man worshipped him. And when the blind man said this to the priest and high priest, they wanted actually, actually they kicked him outside the synagogue and outside the temple. So the Lord several times spoke about himself that he is God. Number two, as the Lord here said today, if you don't believe me, believe the works that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. The Lord performed many signs and many wonders, many miracles. No man can perform them unless if he is God. He raised the dead. He cast out demons. He calmed the storm. He healed many, many sick, sick, sick people. People actually just wanted to touch the garment of his head to be healed. So all these words were done in front of them, but they denied. Number three, we have the witness of the Father himself, God the Father. When the Lord Jesus Christ was baptized, they heard a voice from heaven, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Then in transfiguration, the three disciples heard the same word, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased, hear him. And one time, the Lord was many, many people, multitude of people. And Jesus prayed to the Father and said, Father, glorify me. <coughs> then all of them, they heard like a thunder, a voice from heaven, saying, I have glorified and I will glorify. And the Lord said, this voice is not for me, but for you that you may believe. <clears throat> so we have the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have the works of the Lord Jesus Christ. Also we have the testimony of the Father. Also we have the testimony of John the Baptist. John the Baptist was a great prophet, well respected among all the Jews. And he told them, this who sent me to baptize, told me, upon whom you will see the Holy Spirit descending like the dove, this is he who will baptize with fire and spirit. Then John the Baptist and said, said and I have seen and testified that this in truth the Son of God. And when he was walking with his disciples, and so Jesus said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the whole world. Also, they had the testimony of the prophets. Do you remember when the wise men came and were seeking? Uh, where Jesus is and went to uh, Herod. Herod gathered all the religious leaders and they told him according to the prophecies the Messiah is born will be born in uh, Bethlehem. So actually they know the prophecies and they know many, many things about the Messiah. 
they knew that he was born in Jerusalem. In Isaiah 53, the scripture about the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Psalm 22, another detailed description about the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Many prophecies about his ministry, many prophecies about his resurrection, many, many prophecies. So they have the testimony of the prophets, but they refuse to believe. So when they falsely accused the Lord Jesus Christ, why do you keep us in doubt? The fact the Lord did not keep them in doubt, but they refused to believe. They refused to believe. And the Lord said, told them, because you are not of my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. My sheep, they are in the hand of the Father. And they will be given eternal life. And they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. So he said, first, no one can snatch them of my hand. Then he said, no one can snatch them out of my father's hand. How come? Is it your hand or your father's hand? Then he said, I am my father one. So if we are in the hands of the son, we are also in the hands of the father. Many people who question until today the divinity of Christ because they chose not to be of his sheep. The evidence of the divinity of Christ is very clear throughout all these ages. It's very, very clear. But some people, they refuse to believe. At the same time, we fall in the same sin that the Jews did today. When we falsely accuse God, many times we falsely accuse God of things that he didn't do. For example, most of us, when we go through difficult time or through hardship, the first word that comes to our mouth. Why God? As if this came from God. Although God told us clearly, in the world that you will have many tribulation, you will weep and lament and the world will rejoice. The Lord did not promise us that if we believe in Him, we will have life that has no hardships no tribulations. No, he did not say this. Rather, he said, if he did all of this to me, how much more it would be done to you, human being. If he did to the Creator all these things, and if he suffered all these hardships, how much we should suffer. But this is part of the fact the other half, which is important to know, he told us, in the world you have many tribulations, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So he overcame the world for our sakes. So when we are in him, in him, we will be victorious. In him, we will overcome the world. So why are you worried? Why you are troubled? He told us, you will weep and lament, and the world will rejoice. But I will see you again, and you will rejoice. And your joy, no one will be able to take from you. Just be patient, and wait to the Lord. But unfortunately, we accuse God just when we go through difficult times. 
And many times, actually, uh, we say, why God is keeping us in doubt? I ask it his will, but why he is keeping me in doubt? I want him to take me plainly, exactly like the Jews. Many, many times the will of God is clear for me. Clear. But I don't want to hear it. I don't want to accept it. I am waiting for a different answer. So I keep praying and praying and praying, hoping that God will give me a different answer. And that's why I say, why do you keep me in doubt? Tell me plainly. But in fact, he told us plainly. Let me give you an example. Illness, when somebody actually get ill. So he want to hear from God, you will be healed, you will be cured completely. All of us want to hear this. But maybe God has a different plan for me. Maybe he does want me to be healed. So I, I go to physician and take medication, but I am not cured. I get upset and angry and say, why, why you keep me in doubt? Tell me clearly what do you want. He wants me. This happened with St. Paul. But St. Paul didn't react in the way that I'm describing right now. St. Paul had a thorn in the flesh. And he prayed. How many times? Three times. Asking God to heal him and cure him. But God told him, no, I will not cure you. Why? I want you to be weak. So when you are weak physically, you will rely on me, not on yourself. Because my power is made perfect in weakness. Meaning, you will rely on my power perfectly when you, are, you, you feel weak. But if you don't feel weak, you, go, you are going to rely on my power partially. So my power will not be perfect in you. Said Paul, when God told him, I will not cure you, you will continue to be sick. He responded and said, I rejoice in my infirmity that the grace of God might come upon me. For when I am sick, when I am weak, I am strong. So when we say, why do you keep us in doubt? Many times the will of God is clear. God doesn't want me to give me this job that I am dying for. God does not want me to go into this college that I want to join, etc. <clears throat> but I am angry, I am upset. I want to hear another, uh, well, another answer. But if we say to St. Paul, I will accept your will for me, your will be done in my life. I am accepting your will, I rejoice in my infirmities that the grace of God may come upon me because when I am weak, I am strong. Another false accusation to God. So, number one false accusation when we blame the hardships and troubles on Him. Number two, when we accuse Him that He is keeping us in doubt, but the reality is not keeping me in doubt, but I don't like his will. I want him to give me another answer. Like the Jews, they want to hear from him, I am earthly king. I will restore the kingdom of David. Another false accusation we do to God when we have a wrong perception about him. For example, some of us will say, God does not love me. I am not his favorite. God is angry with me. God does not bless me. All these are false accusations. Or when actually I am doing something wrong, 
it's clear, you know, again in the teaching of the scripture. But I say, I know God is with me. I know God is blessing what I am doing. Although it's clearly wrong. Here actually I'm deceiving myself. And I have a wrong perception about God. And this is also considered a false accusation. How can I accuse God of approving sinful action? How can I accuse God of not loving me? And God is love. How can I accuse God that he is not blessing me? Although every gift, every good gift and every perfect talent is coming from the Father of life as St. James is saying. So we need to be careful when we speak about God. Lest we are falsely accusing him, as the Jews said to him today, how long do you keep us in doubt? If you are Christ, tell us plainly. He told them, but they don't believe. Today we are celebrating the feast of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, who crucified himself in order to save us. Let us think how we should die with him to the world. How to say, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. How to crucify the passions, the lusts, the desires of the flesh, in order to live only for Christ. May the blessing of the Holy Cross be with all of us. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. 
turn to the world for the envy of the devil. You have the soul, by the life given manifestation of the only begotten Son, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. You have filled the earth with the heavenly peace, by which the host of angels glorify you, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and good will to us, men. For perfect peace, love, and the holy apostolic greeting. Lord, and the remembrance of evil bearing that I make us all worthy our master to greet one another with a holy kiss now without casting us into condemnation we partake of your mortal heavenly gift in Christ Jesus our Lord O oh Lord God of hosts who have set us in the inheritance of this ministry who know the minds of men and examine hearts and reins Hear us according to the multitude of your mercies and cleanse us from every defilement of body and spirit. Take away our sins like a cloud and our iniquities like darkness. Fill us with your power and the grace of your only Son and the working of your most holy spirit. Make us sufficient that we may be ministers of your new covenant so that we may be able as befits your holy name to stand before you to perform the priestly ministry for your divine mysteries and do not abandon us to participate in the sins of others but rather wipe out our own and grant to us O lord that we may do nothing wrong through error but give us knowledge to choose those who are worthy and to present them to you and accept as subdeacons and make perfect these your servants who are here present and await your heavenly gift for you are kind and very merciful toward all who call upon you. And strong is your power and that of your only Son and of your most holy spirit both now and forever on the age of ages. Amen. The grace which fills our deficiency shall come upon these brothers whom we have nominated for this rank and order of the Subdiaconate in the Holy Church of God, which have has escaped from dangers and afflictions. Pray, all of you, that the Holy Spirit might come upon them. Amen. Amen. Yea, Lord, make them worthy of the calling of the Subdiaconate so that they may deserve through your kindness as befits your holy name to labor and serve in the temple of your glory and find mercy before you for you are a merciful and compassionate god and to you is your glory honor and dominion unto the son and to the holy spirit now and forever and unto the age of all ages amen <laughs> o master lord god almighty who in the tent of the testimony Revealed to those who adorn the temple as guardians of the holy vessels. Now, our Master, make your face shine upon your servants who have been granted to be subdeacons by the discriminating vote of those who have brought them into the midst. Fill them with the Holy Spirit so that they might worthily handle the liturgical vessels, that they might stand at the doors of the temple and might light the lamp of the house of your prayer, you shall plant them in your holy church as an olive tree laden with fruit, which produces at all times fruit of righteousness through the grace, compassion, love, mankind, of your only begotten Son, our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Look upon 
us, O oh Lord, and from your ministry and cleanse us from every stain, while you give grace from heaven to these your servants, so that they may deserve by your kindness blamelessly to be occupied in this ministry to which you have called them, and find your mercy with all who through the ages have pleased you, for you are a God who is in mercy and kindness, and from all is you glory, honor, and adoration to you, and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the age of ages. Amen. <laughs> Church of God, Amen. Amen. Filling us a beacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America, Amen. Amen. We call you Philip as a beacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America, Hinefran, Mediot, Mimshiri. Number no mind so well, or not in all this Mara Odin J. If not if you'll be Bantokra tour, this Mara Odin J. The phone of your niece and she is also the Ephesus of Van Choice. This Mara Odin J. The number no mind so well, a paraclete. We call you in the Holy Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Antonius as a deacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America. Amen. We call you Antonius as a deacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America. Hinefrani, Mithiot, Dinabshiri, Number no mind so well, or not in all the Smara ODJ, if not if you'll be Bantokrato, the Smara ODJ, the Phonoganese and Chiri is souls, the Christos Van Choice, the Smara ODJ, the no mind so well, and Baraklito. We call you and the Holy Orthodox Church of God, Amen. The Stavros as a deacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America. Amen. We call you the Stavros as a deacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America. In Iran, we do in Abshiri. Number no mind so well, or not in all the Smara Ot and Jeff, not if you be Bantokrator. This Mara Ot and Jeff of Monoganese and Chiri is all the Christos Van Choins. This Mara Ot and Jeff of Nev Maeth O Web and Baraklito. We call you on the Holy Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Shinoda as a deacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God. In the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America, Amen. We call you Shinoda as a deacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America, Hinefran, Mithiot, Mimshiri, Number No Mind So Well, or Not If Not If It's Mara Ot and J. If Not If You'll Be Pantokrator, If It's Mara Ot and J. The Phono Ganis and Jiri is Oz, the Echris Oz, Dan Shonis. This Mara Ot and J. Be It Nef Maeth O Web, In Baraklita. We call you in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, Amen. George as a deacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America. Amen. We call you George as a deacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America. In Iran, in Fiord, in Mishiri, and in Nomai Zouab, and all the old Amin, in Smara, in Old Egypt, and in Fiord, in Pantokrator. In Smara, in Old Egypt, and in Ganis, in Shiri, in Sons, in Christ, in Van Choice. In Smara, in Old Egypt, in Nomai Zouab, in Baraklito. We call you in the Holy Orthodox Church of God. Amen. George Anthony as a deacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America. Amen. We call you George Anthony as a deacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese 
of the Southern Rus, America, the Far, in New York, in Abshiri, number of my Fuab, or not in old Smara, old in Jeff, not if you're the Pantokra, or Smara, old in Jeff, the Fonoganis and Shiri, is also the Chris was done choice. Smara, old in Jeff, with my Fuab, Emperor, Emperor Clito. Thanks to you, our Almighty Lord, we we'll praise and glorify your holy name because you have been to do it with us and poured out your gift on these your servants again. We ask and beseech you, O Lord, hear us according to the multitude of your mercies and may the blessing of the Sabiaconate be pleasing to you, which have been performed on these your servant through your kindness grant to them that purely and innocently they may fulfill all their ministry, so that they may find your peace through the mercy of your only Son, through whom and with whom is due to your glory, honor, and adoration, O Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and so, uh, forever and the age of ages. Amen. Honor and glory to the all holy Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Peace and edification to the one only holy, Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God, Amen. My sons, you have been entrusted with a good, with a good great, which is the Subdiaconate. Therefore, you shall perform those things which have been assigned to you. They are that you should follow after the deacon to assist him in the work of ministry, as he follows after the presbyter. It is necessary for you, therefore, to watch over the doors of the house of God, which is the church, so as not to allow an unrepentant to enter it, neither an unbeliever nor the heretic, at the time of the holy services. When the deacon proclaims, let none of the catechumen stand here, nor anyone who does not receive of the holy mysteries. Then you shall pay attention to watch with great care over the doors of the church. Since as a four you have been trusted to touch that which is holy, the holy liturgical visits, therefore you should realize the measure of the honor and the gift which have been, has been given you as wise and faithful servant who eagerly does the will of his Lord, so that you may receive the fruit of the heavenly calling through Christ Jesus our Lord. Oh, 
He granted us the birth from on high through water and spirit. He made us unto himself an assembled people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who were in the world and as he ransomed on our behalf, gave himself up unto death which reigned over us. Whereby we were bound and sold on account of our sins, he descended into him. Give it 
calls to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles saying, take drink of it all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of the sins. This do in remembrance of me. and drink of this cup you proclaim my death confess my resurrection and remember me till I Bishops who are in here, 
for most of the world, remember our blessed and honored father, the Archbishop Pope Abba Tawadur II, and his spiritual brethren, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mary Ignatius Ephraim, and the Patriarch of Eritrea, Abu Nanto. Of Abba Tadr the second Pope and Patriarch and Archbishop of the Great City of Alexandria, and his brethren, the Apostolic Liturgy, the Patriarch of Antioch, Mary Ignatius Franz the second, the Patriarch of Eritrea, Mon Antonius, and his partner, the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Bishop Abba Yusuf, and for our Orthodox Bishops. your holy church to shepherd your flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hegemons, priest and deacon. Hey, for the Hegemons, priest, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven order of church of God. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants and all who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people. Remember, O oh Lord, to have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O oh God, the Father, the Pant of God. Remember, O oh Lord, the salvation of this your holy place and every place and every monastery of power. Orthodox Fathers. We pray for the salvation of the world and the sea of ours and all these countries, islands, and monasteries. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell there.
dignity to the world, good mixture to the air, graciously accord, O Lord, the waters of the river this year to bless. Pray for the rising of the water of the river this year, that Christ our God may bless them and bless them according to their measure, and he may have joy to the face of the earth, sustain us the children of man, save the guidance and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Bring them to their measure according to your grace, give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows be abundantly watered, and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting. Manage our lives as deemed fit. Let the crown of the year with your goodness, for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, all you who give food to all flesh, fill our hearts with joy and gladness. That we too having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every Children, the cross bears 
Our Father, our known the Hegem, and our righteous Father, all will be sure the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. Our Father, our Apollo, the Moon, is a king, his disciple, my Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the the Lord, the Our Father of Ashadud and Ashwind Rajan of Oisa is the disciple and all the power of your saints through whose prayers and supplications have mercy upon us all for the sake and save us for the sake of your holy name which is called upon us. O Lord, repose our souls and forgive us our sins. O oh, Lord, and everyone whose names we have not we have mentioned, and those we have not mentioned, those whom each one of us has in mind, and those who are not in our minds, who have fallen asleep and repose in the faith of Christ, graciously accord, O oh Lord, to repose the souls of your servant. Rafi Hanin, your servant Benjamin Abdel Malik, and your servant Rose Iskaro. Pray for pause and ruin who have fallen or asleep, and repose in the faith of Christ since the beginning. Our holy fathers and our bishops, our fathers the bishops, our fathers and humans, our fathers the priests. Our brethren, the deacons, our fathers, the monks, and our fathers, the lay, amen. And for the four foes of Christians, like Christ our God, may repose all their souls in the paradise of joy. And we too accord mercy unto us and forgive us our sins. Sustain them in the green pastures beside the still waters in the paradise of joy, the place out of which great sorrow and groaning have fled away in the light of your sake.
that as in this soul some all things be great and holy name may be glorified, blessed and exalted in everything, honored and blessed with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Thus we believe, thus we confess, and thus we affirm that this body belongs to this blood, and this blood belongs to this body. You are Christ our God, who spears it in his sight on Golgotha and Jerusalem for our sake. You are the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Forgive our trespasses, remit our sins, and make us stand at your right hand side. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is blessed by the cherubim, hallowed by the seraphim, and exalted by thousand of thousand and ten thousand times ten thousand of rational servants, who sanctifies and completes the gifts and the fruits that we have, that have been brought to you as a sweet savor. Sanctify also all of our bodies, souls, and spirits, so that with a pure heart and unashamed countenance we may call upon you, O God the Father, who is in the heavens, and pray, saying, Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. In Remember, O Lord, our assemblies, bless them.
Amin, amin, amin. I believe, I believe, I believe and confess to the master breath that this is a life giving flesh, that your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, took from our need the lead of us all the holy Theotokos and Mary. He made it one with his divinity without mingling, without confusion and without alteration. He confessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly I believe that his divinity parted not from his humanity for a single moment nor a twinkling of an eye given for us for salvation, remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is true. Amen.